Hi Sagittarius, my name is Tiana and welcome to my channel Inspired by Ease. If you have seen my videos before, feel free to skip ahead to your reading. If you're new, welcome. My readings are general, but hopefully there's something in here that you can take away. Uh, my readings also aren't date specific, so um, feel free to have a look back at my previous readings that I've done and also check out your moon and rising sign and feel free to uh, swap around the characters if you want. I might be speaking directly to you or I might be speaking directly to the cross watchers. So keep that in mind. We're going to kick it off with a couple uh, animal spirit cards. Ooh, wow. Zebra coming in with the fire element. Yes. I think that's you, Assange. But let's just see what else can we get for Okay, I think I think that's actually it. So it's just you're just dominating this reading, Sagittarius. So, you know, I get Freddie Mercury, David Bowie off of this um you know just total personality um very like flamboyant and theatrical and this is all about your your identity maybe you are um reinventing yourself and there is some kind of dream or vision that you have at the forefront of your mind that is just like completely lighting you up and um and I think you're wanting to make some kind of a bold statement here, either verbally or vis uh, visually um, and uh, or artistically. So this is this is really amazing. This is a lot of creative energy. You might just be in um, in a very creative flow and you might be getting a lot of ideas, a lot of dreams. Um, in the forefront of your mind and there's just a lot of um, I think that like a lot of like colorful artistic ideas are all coming in and they're all kind of like bleeding through together maybe you are um, it's something about a trinity like you're me I like I think that you're combining like a trinity of things together um or maybe like three things that wouldn't normally go together but do um so yeah this is this is very interesting so now we're going to jump into the fairy cards and see what else they have to say about this you might also be in the process of, of tra traveling um there might also be some kind of like big project that might also have to deal with um you know helping back and being a humanitarian a ph philanthropist of some kind um but yeah there's just some kind of like very unique either you're just embracing more of your unique uh personality or there is some kind of very colorful unique um vision that you have that you're wanting to bring to life we have a singer of intuition the singers are also um angels so the angel of intuition there's also something about divine timing here and um you know uh, i'm also getting bridging the gap bridging some kind of gap and um ascending pushing thought past what it's been before pushing pushing the boundaries past what it's been before um david bowie style so yeah okay we've got she of the Kruak. this is uh divine feminine energy the divine feminine principle nourishment um emotional something that's just very fulfilling for you um in the heart space um, I think something that will make you feel very valued, very significant, um, just like your heart's desire, um, and something like this feels really big. This feels like a big, long vision that you have that, that goes far into the future. I'm getting like Sir Richard Branson or um, Elon Musk, you know, like this kind of um, entrepreneurship. 
So what else can we get for the amazing Sagittarius? Ooh, wow, that was a lot. Okay. Yeah, there's, hmm, this is interesting. Very interesting. I'm gonna see, is there any other animal cards that wanna come out and talk? Yeah, we have we have also black eggs. So this is um, very much part of something that you've been wanting to do a lot of, for a long time. Black egg is all about that just pure essence, a dream that we've always had, like some kind of authentic truth, something that you've been yearning and wanting to do for a really long time. Um, this essence and this truth, you know, has always been deep inside you um and has never really been touched by any doubt or negativity um it is just something kind of inevitable that you feel like you were always destined to do destined to be and i feel like this idea this dream um has has come from actually kind of, kind of either either it has come from a very dark place in your life from pain when as as an artist it is so so uh powerful and healing and oftentimes a lot of art can come from pain so channeling pain into art can often be very uh, beautiful. Uh, I think of Lady Gaga when when uh, I speak about that, um, because she she was able to fashion her whole career from embodying the superstar that she always wanted to be. When really on the inside she felt so insecure, and so a lot of her music was. Um, was intended to help other people who felt like misfits and um, outcasts and people who felt really um, insecure. So maybe there is some kind of huge vision that you have to help other people who feel this pain um, that you do, that feel alone, that feel excluded or something to that effect. Um, so that is actually really beautiful. Um, and I think you know, there's there's some kind of part of society that you've always connected with, maybe special needs children, maybe homeless people, maybe people in third world countries, um, children, um, you know, who have terminal illnesses. You know, it could be it could be anything. Um, but I think that this dream uh, that you have is. Uh, you have the intention of, you know, helping helping these these groups of people um, to create healing and to create connection and and resources and and everything like that. Um, yeah. So this totally has to do with your expression. We have Arvel the parrot here, and so this is more of a embodying of expression this is more self-expression um, than verbal expression of course you know you're going to communicate with your voice but this is more of an embodiment uh freddie mercury david bowie style uh so yeah this is something that you, i think you are in the process of embodying and exuding and um you know with on the tangent of Lady Gaga, you know, her whole thing is visual pop art. So, you know, you might be wanting to send this message through art, through uh, visual representation, through visual theatrics, perhaps. Um, so, yeah, and and it ha and this whole message that you have to convey is does have this sense of spiritual authority um is coming down from higher realms you're bringing it into the physical you're bringing it down um you're, you're very much um taking on a very geminian uh energy this week sag it's amazing um 
and I think you're coming from a very like heart-centered place, a very intuitive place. Um, and you're, I think you're wanting to be the pioneer, to pioneer something and lead the way in something and be a light for, for thousands, millions of others to follow. Um, and be raised up by. So when I say that, we have uh, Penelope, the dream weaver. So yeah, I think you're still in that dream phase. You will always be, but I think that you're in the very beginning stages of really just embodying the, the emotional environment of this dream and just yeah, you're just very in the beginning processes of of creation and um you know thus she of the Kruak, you know this fem feminine energy is all about creation um through artistic flow through receiving and giving and um so i feel like you were very much in that and this divine masculine is creative as well uh it's more about you know a spirit hitting the 3d and i don't think it has quite hit the 3d it's more hit your uh pineal gland your third eye you're still imagining it and visualizing it uh you know the the zebra is the visionary so i feel like you are still in that that yeah you're just still in that dreamscape and your um you know i think you're realizing ah oh, this is what i was born to do this is this is what i want to do this has really captured my my heart my attention i think that um sagittarius that you are someone that needs a lot of stimulation and um likes to be very creative likes to be very artistic and so I think you finally, something has finally captured your, your focus and something that you want to ascend to. Um, and now that you've, you've had this, or this has kind of like awakened within you and it's starting to hatch, it's, um, it's actually propelling you up, um, and, alchemically changing your identity changing you know you might be experiencing alchemical internal changes that basically you know when stephanie germanotta decided that she wanted to pursue music she she had to let go of all her preconceived notions of her identity and assume the new identity of lady gaga and so I feel like that is what you are um, experiencing, just this alchemical um, change, chain reaction to become the person you need to be to fulfill this dream. And it's, it's chaining you from the inside and it's also lifting you up to, to higher places and it's healing you and it's um, it's making you a match to other things, to other opportunities that you, that you wouldn't have even considered before. Um, and yeah, there's, there's a strong theme of identity here. So, I mean, maybe you literally are going to like in the process of changing your name and, and that can have a powerful influence as well. Um, but yeah, you just, you have your, you still have your eyes closed. I wish that would focus more, but you still have your eyes closed. Your feet aren't in the ground, on the ground. You're, you're in this fantasy world. And I think that's exactly where you need to be right now. Libra, I was going to say Libra because a zebra, but you're Sag. And yeah, your feet aren't on the ground, which is really, really good. I need a drink of water. Hello. Your feet are in the on the ground, and you are in this fantasy world, and I think that's exactly where you need to be, Sagittarius. And um, yeah, just stay there. I 
I don't I don't feel like you need to be rooted in this reality. You are creating a whole new reality. Um, and it's really amazing. And now we have Geo the Slow. So I think that you are in this for the long haul and you are enjoying the journey. And, you know, oftentimes we have this amazing vision and we want to get there. We want to be there already. And I, I don't feel that from you so much, but if you do have moments of that, of kind of yearning and like, will I ever get there? Will I, can I even do that? And, and everything, um, you will, you can do anything you set your mind to. Um, you just have to believe in yourself. Um, and you know, Geo the Slow here is just to remind you to enjoy the journey in those moments where maybe you wish you were further ahead. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy every single moment of this. Um, you know, a lot of people who have attained and amassed so much success, um, you know, revel in those times of when they were living in their studio apartment and, you know, could barely afford to buy groceries, could barely pay their car bill, and they were just dreaming and imagining and, and all of these things. So just enjoy every moment because you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine, Saj. And it's, it's all, it's all going to happen. You just need to believe in yourself and, um, and know that you can do anything you set your mind to. So I'm going to, I'm going to see about the, uh, wisdom oracle and see if we can get any last words, any last remaining advice for you. Truth be told, I think that, you know, this is all about authenticity and your identity and and everything like that. So I think, uh, you know, and with the black egg there, you're, you're letting this personal truth inside of you unhatch and unfold. And it might have, you might be you might feel like you're being taken down a journey that you would have never expected for yourself. Um, but truth be told, you're a superstar. You know, you thought you were just destined for a nine to five or um, maybe just like uh, being a, a CEO or something. Um, but truth be told, you're actually a freaking rock star um or you're like a rocket scientist like you know whatever so it's kind of like the truth is better than fiction you know that kind of saying so thing like the truth like your internal truth is so much better and bigger than anything that you probably would have conceived of before so this is this is amazing anything else that Sagittarius needs. Uh, poised, yes. You are you are in the perfect position to receive and to create and um and your confidence is increasing if that applies. And um uh yeah there's some kind of element of rebirth and um yeah, just you're just reinventing yourself and you're in the prime position to receive and to create and um you know it doesn't it doesn't matter if you're in in a big city and have you're just living in a studio apartment you can barely afford all of this stuff and you just have your you know your rhinestone gun like lady gaga and that's like that's all you need you know that's all you need to be able to get to where you want to be. 
and to create what you want to create. And this is just so amazing because um, you have such a, a strong uh, desire behind it. It's not just like, like fame and riches um, or status for you. It has this amazing um, spiritual integrity and spiritual message and mission behind it. So I think that is really beautiful as well. Is there anything else that we have for Sag? No place like home. So I think that you are... If you haven't watched it, watch The Wiz because I just I just love that movie. Um, you know, home isn't a place, it's a feeling. So if you have the feeling inside of you, if you have the dream inside of you, you're golden. So just I think I think you're just really um basking in this feeling and this newfound dream and maybe you feel like now that you have this dream and this passion and this like zest for life you are you feel this amazing homecoming you're like yeah this is what i came here to do and this is who i am and um yeah you're just home you're just home you're just you're just coming home and the more and the more creative and the more self-expression you have, the more you feel at home. And you know, I like to say with this card every night before you go to sleep, fall asleep in that feeling of home, in that feeling of dream, in your dream, and um, and live as much as possible in that until it becomes your reality. So I hope that this message served you well Sagittarius know that you are never ever alone you are so so loved and always be kind to yourself and be kind to others big kiss bye